Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I received a few messages that I will read to you, and then you'll see where I'm going with this video. And before I do that, just want to uh, apologize for my scruff, but this will be gone tomorrow morning. It's for a shaving video, a razor that I'll do tomorrow morning. So subscribe so you can check it out on Saturday. All right, number one, here's the first one. Dear Geo, I got a cut on my neck after going for a second pass with a gem razor above the Adam's apple. How can I avoid scarring? Should I pop an ointment on it like Neosporin? Just want to bypass having what looks like a pimple on my neck for the rest of my life. Thanks a million, Matt. Regarding the Adam's apple, check out my video, How to Shave Your Trouble Spots, and there will be some good tips on there on how to shave that area. I'll put a link right here. You can check it out. Next one from Clem C 37 Is that a scar on your cheek from a bad shaving experience or just a bad day? <laughs> Definitely not from shaving. I normally do not shave up this high right here. That's like uh, three quarters of an inch from my eye. That is from a baseball bat. Here's one from K-Lav. K-Lav says, Geo, WTFs with the arm band-aid. Be careful, bro. We can't have you missing any time off, LOL. And then here's one more from Thomas Salazar. What's with the Band-Aid? Shaving accident. Not a shaving accident. This is my wound right here. You can barely even see it now. About a week ago, it was much longer and dark red, and it was really attempting to scab up, but I don't let it do that. So if you're shaving and you nick yourself, just grab your Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block or your other Allen Block or a styptic pencil. Apply that to the nick or the weeper. If it's a small one, that will heal it up probably within hours, sometimes minutes, hours, maybe a day. It'll be gone by the next morning usually. Anything more than that, if it's a decent sized cut, then I do use Neosporin. And I've been using this as long as I could get my hands on it. I believe that Neosporin, just a little while back, was only available by prescription but now it's been made available over the counter, OTC. So you can just run into your local drugstore and pick one of these up. You should have one of these in your shave den. Absolutely. You have a moment where you get a decent cut. I would go over it with the styptic or the wide stick Allen block. And if that doesn't do it, here's a look with the cap off right there. Just rub that on it. And if that doesn't seal it off, then clean your face. Wherever the wound may be, like this, here's what I do. When I got this, I came home. By the way, this was not a razor blade or shaving or anything. If it was a razor blade, it would have been much more narrow. It was a wider cut. I got it from a tree branch, actually. When you go to a friend's and you wind up helping with uh, some chores, <laughs> and you're wearing flip-flops and uh, a sleeveless shirt, and it's summer, you know, it's 80 degrees out, which it was, and I was picking up logs and branches and moving stuff around and I just reached down and there was a branch that had a really sharp point to it that I didn't see and I just sliced like that right down. So it's not my first cut. If you're an electrician or any kind of a tradesman like I was for 30 years, you're going to get lots of cuts and you're going to have lots of cuts to treat and heal and hopefully to heal and you don't see the scar. So here's my tip, the way I do it, you can try it. And if you know a better way, or if you can add on to my method, please comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. I just take the Neosporin, and I'll do it right now. Remove the cap. I just put a little bit on my finger. Of course, my finger is clean, and you want to clean the wound as well. You want to make sure it's clean. If it's open, just be very gentle. I would put some hydrogen peroxide on it just to disinfect it, and then kind of dab it dry, or let it dry in free air. And then just take a bit of Neosporin, like so, and I just rub it in. I just rub it in like so. I keep massaging it like that until it softens up. And I'll do this every day, a couple times a day. I don't want that skin to harden up and become scar tissue and scabby, that sort of thing. I just keep rubbing this on until it disappears, just till it totally absorbs into the skin like that. And as you can see, it probably even looks better right now just from doing that. But if you do that, every couple times a day, that scab and that scar will heal up quicker than it does if you did nothing, for sure. You just put a band-aid on it, it's gonna take weeks to heal. 
But this method, it'll, this will chop off several days and it will heal much quicker. And this wound right here, it was way bigger and longer and it's already shrunk and it's narrowed up and it's just becoming more confined. Before you know it, you won't even be able to see that anymore. I've had other scars and I've used this and this is the thing, Neosporin right here. Follow the procedure, it works. Neosporin, it is the number one doctor recommended brand pain relief, so it contains an antibiotic and when you put it on, if you're aching, the antibiotic will make that pain subside, so that's a good plus to it. 24 hour infection protection, soothes cuts, scrapes and burns. No sting, there is no sting, so you don't have to worry about that. It's a first aid antibiotic pain relieving ointment. It contains bacitracin zinc, neomycin sulfate, polymycin B sulfate, promoxine HCI. So it's got four ingredients. All those ingredients together, they work like magic, for sure. Another way you can do it, say your hands are real dirty and you just, you're out in the field and you, you know, you're on a job, whatever, you don't have access to water and soap and you can't clean it, but you might have a little first aid kit or a few band-aids. I used to always keep a band-aid in my wallet, just in case you cut yourself on a job. You don't want to be in a restaurant bleeding over the table, you know, where somebody's going to sit down and eat. So you can just slap a band-aid on there and stop that bleeding real quick. In that situation, if you're out in the field and there's no water or soap available, just peel off your band-aid, open it up like so. Try to get the, you know, get a cloth or something, your shirt, whatever you have. Get some, get most of the dirt out of the wound, clean it up as best you can. Then just open the band-aid like so. You could just take the Neosporin and squirt it right on the pad itself, on the gauze pad. When the wound is fresh, I'll apply a gob of Neosporin right onto it and right onto the pad and then just put it over like so. Just like that. That's how I had it in the video, just like that. So you can do that and just let it sit for a day or so and then I'll peel this off and then I'll start applying that Neosporin every few hours. As soon as I see it starts to dry up a little bit, I don't want the scar tissue, I'll just apply a little bit more. Make sure you massage it in because that softens the skin and the tissue and it keeps it from becoming hard and turning into scar tissue. So I've had many cuts over the years, I've done that and you can't even tell where those cuts are. They're completely gone, they disappear. If the cut is on your face, you want to get the smallest band-aid you can so that the gauze covers the cut but not the adhesive. You don't want the adhesive to come in contact with the cut. When you tear the band-aid off, it's going to rip off the cut and probably open it up again. So as small of a band-aid that you can get that will cover it and the gauze only touching the wound, that's how you want to do it. It also helps to have some adamantium in your blood, like Wolverine, but we won't get into that right now. The Neosporin, we don't sell it at Shave Nation, but we do have a triple antibiotic ointment that contains bacitracin, so that works too. Just click down below the video where it says show more for the Allen Block or any of these other items. You can grab them right there. Or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a five o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com.